Good morning, Americans. <clears throat> this is your favorite alien and Boo Moose Bubba here on the morning of Tuesday, August 13th, or October 13th, 2020. And I wanted to do a response today on uh, two, well, two people that represent the two different factions that are writing me back. One is a Mr. Thomas Allen, and the other one is a Miss or Ms. Ann Webb. That's A A A N N, no E at the end. Webb, uh, and they didn't say where they were from, but uh, Mr. Allen put it this way. Well, hello, Mr. Quack. Wow, at least he called me Mr. Quack, huh? Uh, I'm a staunch Republican. And what do you mean by DFA? Explain yourself. Miss Webb, on the other hand, put it, you crazy foreigner. <laughs> she didn't even say dear quack or hello, Mr. Quack or anything like that. You crazy foreigner. Yeah. Okay. And then she went, on, I'm a staunch Democrat. What do you mean the DFA? And what do you mean we got factions in our party? We are so united, it's not even funny. Gee, Mrs. Webb, have you cleaned your glasses or cleaned up your ears recently? Well, let me tell you both what I mean by the DFA. <clears throat> the DFA, like I said, is the Disunited Factions of America. And that's what you guys are, because you guys don't listen. You must have cobwebs in your ears, Miss Webb. Or... And you must need glasses over there, Mr. Allen. Look at your party. It's the Democratic Party. You got creepy Joe and Camilla who said he's a segregationist Harris and now is his vice president running on your party. Does that say something? And then you got AOC with a Green Deal she's trying to push. And you guys are harping at the Republicans. You're not doing nothing for the coronavirus. Well, you guys aren't doing nothing either. You guys have wasted almost $10 trillion. Oh, yeah, we got to give the Americans $1,200 again. How long did that last the first time? How long is it going to last this time? How long are you going to carry the, quote, airlines and other businesses on your back? Really? And... We can't support a uh, Supreme Court justice that's conservative. Yeah, the Republicans are bad. They were bad when uh, Obama was there and he tried to appoint Garland. I can see the point there, but that's just as bad as you guys would be if there was a uh, guy that you guys wanted up there and the, the Republicans, you wanted to smash him. So... Yeah, I, I can see the point there. You guys have done it before. Now on the Republican side. You guys got Rubio, Cruz, and Trump. Did I say more? And don't forget that you guys started with the Tea Party. And now you have developed into a factions of, you fund the factions in your party. Same with the Democrats. Factions will fund factions. You can't get not even a compromise, let alone a consensus going. And you need a consensus to get rid of this virus, which you don't have. You so-called Democrats that vote for your people and Republicans, they don't represent you. They represent the party and the constituents that make up the money. For here in Georgia, you got Leffler and you got Purdue running for the Senate. Do they represent Georgia? No. They represent the Republican Party and the ad and the adhere for mentioned parties that represent the money that gives them the power to run. Same with John Ossoff here. Does he represent the people of Georgia? No, he represents the people that give him the money. So you see what I mean? This is the DFA. And this is what you guys are asking for. The two-party system doesn't work. It hasn't worked for 40 years. What you need is people that want to do the United States of America, where you are 50 states that united for a better purpose. What was that? You forgot what was that, didn't you? So, Mr. Webb, 
I mean, uh, Mr. Allen and Miss Webb. This is your favorite alien saying, I'm no quack. Look at all the facts and tell me I'm wrong. Am I? This is your favorite alien and boom, oos, bubba. Good day.